Okay, so we're going to make a nice chocolate truffle cake. This one is reasonably for the use of uh, bicarb soda, baking soda, so it's a chemically leavened cake. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to pop some water on the boil. And what I've got here, I've got some flour, cocoa powder, yeah, I've got some baking powder, So bicarb soda. And so some salt. Sip this together. The main reason for sieving this is to get the what the raising agents distribute, uh, distributed throughout the flour. So when we make the batter, it's not rising in one area and not in another. It also helps to get rid of these sort of lumpy bits of cocoa powder that sometimes can sometimes form when there's moisture in the air. So push those through. So into this mix. Make a little well in the center, and that's where I'm going to add my wet ingredients. So I've got three eggs. down. And while I'm mixing it, I'm going to add the vegetable oil. To make a batter. To this batter, I'm then going to pour in the boiling water. If you're making this at home, you can put this on the mixing machine on the paddle. Attachment. We'll mix for two or three minutes, but doing it without and all works just fine. I'm just going to add boiling water into this batter. It is a very thin batter. Don't be alarmed, that's still correct. The first time I made this one, I thought it was too thin, I thought I'd done something wrong. It's not, it's the way it is. It does rise quite sharply in the oven due to the bicarb and the baking powder. Perfect, that's the batter made. I'm going to pour that to these two trays that we've been given. I've sprayed these with oil just to be safe. I'm going to divide this mix between the two trays. Bearing in mind it's going to rise quite substantially. oven, 170 degrees, I think it's going to take approximately 30 to 35 minutes, basically until we poke it with a skewer, the skewer comes out clean, and then we know that the cake is ready. Okay, so I'm just going to check this chocolate cake, it's been here for about 35 minutes, what I'm looking for, so I'm going to put a little knife in there. And I'm looking for the knife to come out clean. It's still clean, very good. It's still quite soft. As it cools down, it will firm up a little bit. It is quite a soft and very moist cake. 
I'm now going to make an icing for it, but I need to get the cake cooled down first. So I'm going to refrigerate the cake for a little while, otherwise the icing is going to melt as soon as I put it on. Normally we make this in the machine, but I'm assuming that you don't have a machine at home, so we're going to work on doing it by hand. So what I've got, I've got the butter, which I've melted and then cooled a little bit. Bring this into a big bowl. And then into this, I'm going to sieve the icing sugar. And it's like that. Let's make some room. I'm just going to see how this goes. So normally we make a machine. If you've got a machine, you can soften the butter rather than melting it and put it on the machine with the paddle until it's soft. We're assuming we don't, so we're going to go ahead and do it this way. that last bit of cocoa through. Always a good idea to sieve cocoa powder when you're using it just to get rid of these little lumps that we sometimes get. Very susceptible to humidity if you're going to do it. Okay. Then we're going to mix this together. I'm using a big bowl because I want to really get down and mix it quite well to spread it out a little bit. I'm going to add some vanilla essence now. And then some of the milk. I'm not going to put it all in. I'm just going to see how this goes. We find times throughout We're in the industry where you have to adapt to not having some form of equipment. So that's what we're doing today. Normally, we make this in the machine. This time we haven't got the machine, so we're actually just making it by hand in the bowl. Together, okay. So I'm going to add some more milk. the same product. So that's my smooth icing. That's going to go on quite well to the cake. Now these cakes I'm going to take out of the mould. They're a little bit messy on top. Just the nature of this cake, it tends to bubble up a lot when you first cook it and sink down. It gives you a bit of an uneven finish. It's still very tasty. So I'm just going to run my knife along the sides here. Put a little platter on to serve it on. We don't have to do this, you can put it straight into a board or another kind of plate. Hopefully, we'll just lift it off. Perfect. You can see it's quite a nice moist cake. Still got plenty of sheen there. Right. And the icing you could do two ways. You could spray it over. What I'm going to do though, I'm going to, because it's a nice consistency for piping, I'm going to pipe it on top. Pipe and back with a small to medium star nozzle. Nuts. And just sprinkle down the centre as well. 
I've actually got two cakes out of this recipe because we're using a smaller mould. So the other one we do slightly different. So that's one like that. So again, I'm just all I'm doing here is loosening the cake from the sides. Remember, I gave this a little bit of time in the fridge to cool off. Don't try and invert it when it's still warm. It's quite soft and it will collapse. There we go. Chop it, chop it, cake. 